Welcome back my Chonker Gamers and good morning to another awesome episode of Space Engineers. In this video we will be continuing with our project on the Basilisk Frigate. Last episode we made some concepts for the Basilisk and what I wanted to finalize in my frigate because I believe that it's time for a change at least for the basilisk i just gotta i just really want to get a solid basis for my frigate hope you all understand <laughs> if you want a discord server <laughs> 1000 subscribers oh, i need that clout <laughs> clout bruh i need that clout bruh all right so here we are back at the tandari outpost so we can see our very lovely Scalo class fighters. Yes, very nice. And these, after I update my uh, Basilisk, could use a update themselves. Probably just a little bit of different coloring because I think I'm going to add a little, um, a little bit of coloring to, or I'm going to introduce some new colors to my Basilisk and whole Tundari um, faction. All right, so I got Krita open. I've got Space Engineers open. So we're just going to get straight into it. We're going to get a nice basis, a uh, very open concept, and then we will start layering the armor on. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, and we have our coffee. That is uh, that is a must. You know, nothing better. It, there's nothing better than waking up in the morning, playing Space Engineers, drinking coffee, listening to your favorite Chonkers gamer. It's just, it, it's a formula for happiness. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what's better than that. all jokes aside. Let's get right into it. So here we are with it. What? What? You're acting like you've seen a talking seal or something. 
Oh, what? You thought I was going to stay in that sweaty meat suit forever? Oh, no. God, no. Jesus Christ. What do you think I am? I'm a seal. I ain't no mech. I ain't no meat mech. I need to take some time, you know? But it has been very helpful for my mental health. In terms of my dark side powers, you know, it's always good to, uh, uh, take a break once in a while and, uh, you know, refrain from using my dark side energy to, uh, uh play with the keyboard and mouse. So, uh, I know you, it, it might sound like it's not a lot of work, but, uh, it is. Anyways, I just stopped uh, to record right now just to say that uh, this is what we have so far and I'll have the um, picture of my drawing on the side and this is kind of the layout that I've been looking for. Honestly, I'm so glad that I uh, I did this. I decided to um, uh, sketch out the drawing instead of just continuously attempting to build the perfect vessel uh hopefully this is enough upwards thrust to get me in and out of planet's atmosphere if not i may have to switch some of the downward thrusts with i don't know uh oh uh hydrogen thrusters oh also i've been looking everywhere for a colorable thruster mod i don't know which one's the best one um also I uh, didn't want to add colorable thrusters because I don't think they have these detailed, cool looking thrusters. And um, because they're modded thrusters, I'm okay with adding modded turrets and modded shields because it won't get rid of the entirety of my ship. Whereas um, if I have modded thrusters, then if I paste it as a vanilla ship, it's gonna get rid of all my thrusters and I have to replace them. Whereas if I have a modded ship and the only modded parts are guns then all i really have to do is add vanilla turrets and then boom it's vanilla ship uh, i hope that makes sense but yeah this is what we have so far so now we're just going to uh work on the interior we've got the uh staircase we've got the new hangar bay and we've got the engine room down below i just have to make the staircase going down and yeah i think uh it's turning out great i can't wait to see what it turns into We've got enough hangar space and everything. I'm excited and I hope you guys enjoy this next part. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Uh, I just gotta get my meat back, okay? I'll be back. Uh. Well, let's continue.
unfortunate. That's it. That's all. That's all we have time for. Oh my god. Wow. Well, that was pretty fucking awesome, actually. As I was building my frigate, I realized how much easier it is when you have a design already pre-made. Like, obviously, I've already thought of this design many times, many times over. But it's just so nice to go off of an actual design, like a, a drawing or like a little sketch. So, uh, yeah. If I have to give any great advice to building a ship, I'd say, seriously, just sketch something out quick. But that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the cinematics of this. Stay tuned for more survival space engineers and stay tuned for the other skits and content. Uh, maybe I'll do some cooking. I know you guys don't want to see that, but I want to do some cooking. I love cooking. It's great. It's so much fun and I can show you some nice techniques. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching again. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay chonk. Chonkers out. Fuck, I have to take a shit so badly.